Good evening. Hi. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm, um, I'm okay. I'm still good. Okay. So what did you do today? I studied very hard. Whoa. You really studied very hard. Oh. Hard okay. to uh, 9.45. Oh, so are you done studying? This is the last uh, the last lesson or the last class. Yeah. Yes. Me too, baby. You are my class. My you are my last class. <laughs> it's because it's already 10 o'clock in my country right now. So we are going to finish at almost 11. And then so so I sent you this one, right? Remember? Do you remember in Zalo group? I sent you this in order for you to learn all by yourself, right? Yes. Okay. So, for example, you have classes, you have English classes in your school. You can use this if your class, if your lesson is about conditional clauses. Okay. Yes. So we're just going to continue our lesson about. So this time we're going to learn unless or if not, okay? So can you read it, hi? Yes, unless is similar meaning to if not and can be used instead of, of if not in certain types of conditional sentences, like if you, unless is followed by a present tense, a past tense or a past perfect tense. Mm. We cannot use unless in questions. We don't you will or would in the class after unless. Okay, so remember, unless is similar with if not. So it depends upon the sentence that you're going to use, that, to go, that you're going to do. So uh, unless and if not, you can use them. Uh, it depends on the sentence, on how are you going to, to deliver the sentence, okay? So, so look at the example. We cannot use unless, oh, so we cannot use unless in questions, huh? Yes. We don't use will or would in the clause after unless. Yes, it's not possible. Now let's have the, look at this. Ah. Uh, oh. Let's move first with unless plus present tense. With if, you will not gain a high score. So look, can you read the example, baby? You will not gain. You will not gain a high score in IELTS exam if you do not learn English every day. You can't get good mark if you do not study hard. He wants to go to sleep if you do not tell him a story. Yes, how about equivalent with unless? So this is the, the same question or the same sentence with you uh, using unless. Okay, can you read it, baby? You will not gain a high score in IELTS exam unless you learn English every day. You can't get good mark unless you study hard. He wants go to sleep unless you tell him a story. They're the same, no? Yeah. They're the same. So which do you like to use more, if or unless? If is easier. Yes, easier. But then, baby, when you think, for example, you, you, you are talking to a very intelligent person. You think you're very, uh, when you are talking or, or you are in front of, you think smart person you can use unless so that they will oh how you can use the word unless okay so to make it a deeper or to make it a harder sentence you can use unless we can use unless right because it is the same as if right all right <laughs> okay how about unless plus past tense example well, uh, it it wouldn't take the trend if I didn't have to. You wouldn't eat this food if I wasn't really hungry. 
I would not have bought this if they weren't on the sale. Yes, cause and effect, baby. I wouldn't take the train. So what will happen? I uh you you don't like to take a train, so because I don't like I don't like to take a train. So what are you going to do? I will walk. <laughs> Right. Yes. Next to the, the, how about the unless? I wouldn't take the train unless I had to. I wouldn't eat this food unless I was really hungry. I would not have bought this unless they were on a sale. Mm, yeah. So to make your sentence a complicated one, but the same as <laughs> if you can use unless, right? As I have said. Okay, next. Unless plus past perfect set, perfect tense. Hi, right, before we go there, baby, look at the sentence. Uh, unless I didn't, I wasn't, if they weren't. This one, I had to, I was. So they are all they are all in past tense, okay? Yes. Next, how about past perfect tense? Uh, past strike 10. If the chain hadn't broken down, we would have been on the time. If he had not come to see me yesterday, I wouldn't have taken him to the movies. If, uh, no, no. We, we would, would have, have stayed healthy if we hadn't walked in the na the rain that night oh okay so you are you are sick because you you walk in the under the rain or in the rain okay how about uh equivalent with unless baby unless the chain hadn't broke down we were sure to be late unless he had come to see me yesterday i wouldn't have one have taken him down. <laughs> Take him to have the movies, taken baby. him to the movies. What happened to you, baby? <laughs> we would walk in the rain that night. We would have stayed healthy. Okay, hadn't broken down. So this is the past perfect tense, okay? So okay. if, so this time had not come, okay, have stayed what hadn't walk so these are the past perfect tense with the use of if and then this is the, with the use of uh past perfect tense with the use of unless unless hadn't broken down he had come so always remember you know how how are you going to identify the past perfect tense with the use of the word had okay yes okay and past participle of the verb okay so let's move on. Do you have any questions with that? No. Easy. Okay. By oneself on one's own. Let's try. Oh, this is another con uh, comparison between by oneself or on one's own. Okay. Can you read it? Making suggestion. Suggestion. What about verb ing? What about playing? How about singing? Let's. What <laughs> Right? Let's what about play. dancing? Yes. As How about as, uh, singing? Yes. As long as we have ING. Okay. Let's, uh, turning on the lights. Turning. Yes. Very good. Okay, baby. So do I. Me too and so do I are also the same. Look at the quest, look at the so do I. So which do you like to use? Me too or so do I? Me too. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try to re read the example. I love going to the beach. I love going to the beach in summer. So, so do, do I. I. So it is same as uh, me, me too. too. Oh, same here. Me too. But when you say, so do I, it becomes more complicated. <laughs> okay. Can you read it again? Can you continue reading? Uh, I, I went, went to the cinema last night. So did I. We got married in 2003. 
so did we. I have been to Paris twice, so I, so have I. I'm meeting John tomorrow, so I am. So am I, baby. <laughs> so am I. I love visit to Edinburgh, so would I. He can speak three languages fluently, so can I. Maria, wait, wait a minute. Maria has a new boyfriend, so does Anna. So does Anna. So it seems as Anna, ha, uh, Anna has also a boyfriend. Okay, instead of making another sentence, so does Anna. Okay, so let's have this, baby. Your question six, your English friend, Emma, has sent you some birthday money for you to buy a music CD. You know what is a CD, right? Yes, I do. So you're going to write an email to Emma. In your email, you should thank Emma for the present. Say which music CD you're going to buy and explain why you have chosen the CD. So you have 35 to 45 words. Baby, you can answer in, in the chat box, okay? Okay. So I will be waiting because this is reading and writing. Eh? I write it simple. In the chat box, yes. You're going to make an email to Emma in your email. So your your email to Emma should be you're going to thank the M, you're going to thank Emma for the present, which is the money. And you're going to say which music CD you're going to buy. And you're going to explain why you have chosen the city. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hi, Emma. <laughs> Oh, can I chat it?
Oh, it's very long. Okay, baby. Are you done? You forgot something. The last. The uh last? Your, your ending. <laughs> the, can I say love? love? Whoa, you love Emma. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So let can you read it? Hi Emma. Continue baby reading. Baby Hi Emma. How are you? I hope you're great. Thank you, Emma, for the money that you sent me on my birthday to buy a music CD. When oh, when I have when I have been to the shop, I saw that there were a lot of good music CDs, and then. I chose the one that have the Michael Jackson because I love the music that he made and it was great and awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Long high. Long high. Okay. Next. Is that okay? Yes, nice. And correct and correct grammar. Good job. Very good, baby. Okay. Very short. Assessment of writing part two. Okay, very good. Oh, look at the example. Oh, I love. <laughs> okay. Oh, so short. Okay, very good. So short, but then your answer is very, it's quite long. Uh, your answer is long than Quista. Okay, very good. Write an informal letter and a story. Okay. So this one, baby, you're going to write a letter and a story. So, so how, what is the story all about? Let's try it. So you're going to have, let's have the topic, the content. So, so of course, the letter should have a content and what will be the communicative achievement and maybe the purpose and how are you going to put together the writing on how are you going to write the letter? And of course, the vocabulary and grammar that you're going to write. Okay. So, because this is reading and writing, baby. So, this is a part of a letter you received from a British friend. I went to a great restaurant with my family last night. Which do you prefer? Eating at home or in restaurants? Tell me about your favorite place to eat. Now, write a letter to your friend. I think it should be very short. What is his name? So now write a letter to your friend. <laughs> I would choose Patrick. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Wait me a minute. Okay, now write. Okay, write it, baby. <laughs> okay.
can I write very short words? Maybe it should be 100 set words. This is be longer than before. <clears throat> Let's Word. try it. Okay, look at the 100? Yes, even if it is uh, exact 100. Because I know after 35 to 45 words, it's 100. Oh, so you're, you're just going to ask, uh, you're just going to tell a story about the restaurant, describe your restaurant and how it, how does it go, something like that. So, so which do you prefer, eating, home or restaurant? And then why? Something like that.
Wow. Did you count the le did you count? <laughs> okay. No. So hi, let's try to read. Hello Patrick. Hello Patrick. How are you? I hope you're still great. In my opinion, eating at home is very good because you can make the food that you want to eat and you don't need to pay the money to cook, to buy or cook. You don't, don't need, need to know the receipt because... The recipe, baby, the recipe. recipe. Because you can Google it and you don't need to go anywhere far from your house. However, I think that eating at restaurants is good. It's good too because I have been to many restaurants and usually their food is very good. They can be long for waiting to have the food, but the servers and the waiters are very nice, confident, honest, and polite. To be honest, I think that you should choose the eating at restaurants because they're great and good service. Yes, baby. Uh, this one, I have been to many restaurants. Okay, you can put restaurants because many restaurants. So the restaurant should have an S, okay? Not bad, baby. Huh? Good job. Do you have any questions? Maybe you're, got, you're good in writing too. Okay, so this is how to write an informal letter. I know you know this one already. So the inf there is a difference between informal and in informal letter. Informal letter is just that it is not detailed. You're just going to write letters. Of course, there is an address and a date, the name of the person. So, oh, for example, dear, hi. So the formal letter is, uh, that is informal, dear, hi. The, info, the formal letter is Dear Mr. Nguyen. Okay? So there is there is a Mr. There's a, there's a respect. Or Dear Sir. So that's the formal. And of course, the, the, op the, the opening, Hi! So in informal. But then informal. Informal letters. Greetings! <laughs> Something like that. So there's a difference between informal and formal letters. And then the body... When, when you are going to write informal letter, the body of the informal letter should be uh, you're just talking to him uh, just, just as, you, as you are talking to him in front of you. So that's the, that's the informal letter. While the formal letter, oh my God, the formal letter should be uh, as very strict. Uh, how can I say it? The, the letter should be uh, what is there is a pattern or there are patterns on how to to write formal letters like what is the purpose of writing a formal letter so you should be detailed something like that okay okay and then the closing when you are when you are closing in informal letter i hope to see you again soon that right <laughs> while the, the formal letter Thank you and have a nice day. Something like that. So there is the difference between the informal and formal letter. Okay. And you cannot put a uh, best informal letter. You cannot put love in for informal letter. You oh. cannot put respectfully yours. No, baby, that this is correct. This is informal. While the formal, you, you should not put best, love, truly yours. No, it should be respectfully yours something like that so it should be very formal okay yes question hi okay oh. question really yeah so look 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 at the clause closing can you read the example of closing closing i am looking forward to seeing you i can't wait to see you soon I can't wait to hear from you. I'm looking forward to he hearing from you soon. I hope to hear from you soon. <clears throat> See you soon. Send my love too. I hope you're doing well. 
give my regards to. Yes. Oh, look, look. So this is the informal letter. You're going to end by? Best wishes, best kindly, kind regards, best regards, lots of love, love. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are, are you going to put the, the love in the formal letter? <laughs> of course <No>. not. <laughs> okay, very good, baby. My friends will say it's gay. Uh, look at the example. Can you read it? So this is the 100 words. So look, it's very long, right? Oh, it's okay. not as long as mine. This is <laughs> quite long, baby, because there are, there are three, there are two <clears throat> paragraphs. Look, there are two paragraphs. So when we say paragraph, uh, the first paragraph is different from the second paragraph. The topic from the first paragraph is quite different from the first paragraph. That's why you put a paragraph on it. Okay, let's try to read it, baby. Dear Lily, thanks a lot for writing. It's great to hear from you. Regards your question, I must admit that I very much, much prefer eating in a restaurant. Having lunch or dinner at home is fine, but it's more convenient because to have something in a restaurant because you don't have to wash up. As for my favorite place, it's a Mexican place near my house. I love Mexican food because it's hot and spicy. And this place has really nice waiters. I gotta go now, but tell me about your favorite bar or restaurant in your next email. Sincerely, Louis. Louis, Louis. Louis. Okay, so, so he used sincerely. Okay, look at the paragraph one, baby. So they are talking about the, the restaurant that they are eat that they are they ate or they had eaten. The second place is he described his favorite food or favorite place. Okay, so there's a difference between the two, the paragraph one and paragraph two. That's why he puts an, a paragraph one and paragraph two. And then the closing is, I gotta go now. So that's another paragraph, okay? Okay. Okay, look at the body, paragraph one and paragraph two. Brother. Okay, question eight. Your English teacher wants you to write a story. Sorry, baby. I think this will be your homework. This is, but then you are going, at the remaining time, you're going to do this and you're going to send this in Zalo. This is the title of your story. Or this is the title for your story. How I met my best friend. Write your story about in 100 words on your answer sheet. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, baby, can you try to write it in a um, in, um, word or, or, or in, in, in notepad so that you can send it in Zalo? Okay? Okay. So, do you want me to share my screen again so that you will know the question? Or you already know the question about the, the what is it? Your question is about how you're, about your best friend. This one, right? Yes. Okay. So, how I met my best friend. So, Wait. we still have, we still have uh, seven minutes, maybe. So you can write it in the note, note uh, here, baby. You can write it here uh, in the notepad. You know the notepad? Yes, I know it. Okay, so you can write it there so that you have a pattern, okay? Okay. And then put it in our Zalo group, okay? Okay. Okay. That's nice. Okay, put our... Why is it that we are only one? Uh, do you have free time, baby? Can we make it uh, two, tw twice a week, baby? No. Are you very busy? Yes, I am. Let me ask my mother. Yes. 
you can say you can ask her mom can i have another twice because i am free every monday baby i am free every monday my time is on every monday my time my free time because my other student uh is already finished my lesson our lesson and he is very cute but then he is very stressed with our lesson eh, no not in our lesson he is very busy in online learning because uh in haidu wong are you familiar with haidu wong baby what's that can you chat haidu wong uh, are you familiar with this place there are many cases there that's why yes i know yes the, uh one of my students is living there so he told me that um the school they are learning online that's why we have no time to learn that's why the that's covid why, night, yes, yes the covid night, there are many cases there that's why he he keeps uh we finish our uh, our class because uh he has lots of online learnings and then he told me ma'am uh, teacher we are going to meet on june after my online lessons that's why i am free i am free every monday 8 p.m are you free no i'm not oh my god you're very busy so that's my only free time baby because i have lots of classes you know yes so busy me too baby super busy i never thought i will be so baby you're going to put it in zalo okay okay So we're just going to wait for five more minutes. Think of, baby, think of, um, think of uh, an end uh, introduction. Introduction. Oh my God. That's not my my laptop uh, is. I have a problem with my laptop, so I will I need to restart. No, OK, baby, I will wait for our time to end. OK. Because right. a while ago, before yeah. before you, I have lots of. Look, I cannot, I cannot get inside the Chrome. I cannot go to. Google. So I, I think Google Chrome is the problem. So cursed. So you're going to write it. Baby, you can put your homework in our Zalo group, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can go, baby. Hold on. I will. Uh, don't forget to put it in our Zalo group, okay? I will check that before, before Tuesday, okay? You have to submit that before Tuesday, okay? Okay. Okay. See you, baby. See you later. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Bye, baby.